Welcome to year two of the Brugley Summer Spectacular, which is the series where I go over backrooms levels in order with the ultimate goal of explaining every single level inside the backrooms. Last summer, I went over levels 13 through 50. Then in the winter, I went over levels 50 through 58. And now I'll be explaining levels 59 through 70. Hope you enjoy it. And let's kick off the summer with level 59. Enjoy. Backrooms level 59, or the Backway, as it's been named, is classified as a class 4 difficulty and is very unsafe and unsecure with a medium entity count. I'm going to be honest, it's best that you just don't trust this level and just try to avoid it if you can. The level itself was first documented as a maze-like subway system by a small group of wanderers a few years ago, but it was first officially added to the MEG database recently. News about the dangers of this level spread very fast when four injured MEG personnel escaped the level after losing over half of their team to the monsters within. So let's see exactly what makes this level dangerous. Also, my nose is stopped up, so sorry if I sound weird. The description. Level 59 takes the appearance of an infinite underground railway system. The level is very, very labyrinthine and maze-like and confusing, which of course means it's hard to map. The entire area that's been explored is split into two specific parts, the stations and the tunnels. And I'll be going over both of those parts in the video. But before I talk about those sections, I think it's important to note that there are literally no supplies in this level and no easy exits. So if you get stuck here, or if you have to come here, bring your own supplies and get ready to be lost for a while. So first I'll explain what these stations are. The stations look like subway stations from real life, and they all take different appearances and have different characteristics. Some of them look clean and modern, with white marble and metal and cleanliness, and some look gray and old and abandoned and dingy, like an old New York subway system. But all of these stations always feel empty and dangerous and dark, and you just feel really isolated and alone when you get here. A weird anomaly inside of these stations is that there's always wind present in them, which is pretty weird since the level is underground. How is there wind underground? And it's not just a light wind either. There's gusts of wind that can be so fast they can almost knock you over. And these wind gusts tend to correlate with one specific thing, the sound of trains off in the distance. Now this is strange for a bunch of reasons, but the main reason is because when you feel that wind gust and you hear those train sounds, you can't actually see a train. Like, there's just not anything there, there's no visible train, but you hear it. Which is very weird to say the least. Are they phantom invisible trains? Or are you hearing things and hallucinating? But now back to the physical stations themselves. They're comprised of hallways and corridors and staircases and railways. There's also some electrical rooms and these weird offices that are spotted in the hallways. But pretty much everything here is just very empty and lonely. And all the places give you that vibe I was talking about, that dark, scary feeling. The staircases and hallways are also very enigmatic because some of them stretch out for thousands of miles and some of them dead end randomly. There's literally no way to map it out. It's just completely random. On the pale, empty walls of these stations, you'll also see advertising posters. All the posters seem really random and really jumbled, and they don't make any sense, but they all look like they could be real life posters. You just can't read them. They're in some weird language and they just look very strange. And as far as we know, they don't mean anything. But alongside these posters on the wall, a very important map might appear for you to escape the level, but I'll explain all that in a little bit. As far as the entities go in these station areas, there are the usual hounds and death rats and facelings, and all of those tend to hide in the darker areas and deeper in the staircases and hallways. But there's also another type of entity that's pretty rare to see in backrooms levels. These entities, of course, are the clicker entities. These things take the appearance of strange typewriter creatures that roll around randomly and make a bunch of random clicky noises that seem to not make any sense. You almost never see these things in levels, so it's weird why they're here. Now, with all that said, these stations are by far the safer parts of the level. In fact, they're where you should stay if you do get sent here, simply because the only danger is the rare entity that you might stumble on. 
Or if you somehow fall down the stairs, or if you somehow do something, I don't know, if you hurt yourself somehow, that's the only real danger. The actual danger in the level is in the next part, which is the tunnels. So the tunnels are accessed by the rail system that runs through the level. Most of the tunnels are dark and dank and empty, but some of them are dimly lit with weird soft lights. When you're inside the tunnels, you'll notice that there's a never-ending smell of corroding, rusting metal and a sort of wet, stinky odor. You also hear the distant sounds of moving trains and maybe even the weird footsteps of unknown creatures. The deeper you go into the tunnels and the further away from the nearest station you get or the further away from lights, the darker and more isolated you will be. And the chance of encountering an entity increases exponentially. And that's because these tunnels are pretty much infested with creatures, specifically ones like skin stealers and smilers and hounds, and even crawlers, the most common one being smilers. But there's also been reports of strange, unknown creatures lurking deeper into the darkness. Creatures that don't make sounds when they approach you, and you don't know they're there until it's too late. Wanderers have reported seeing weird hands and fleshy faces staring back at them when they pan their flashlights in front, and weird giant creatures at the end of tunnels. We don't know what these creatures could be, just watch out. Now, the actual train tracks that run through the tunnels also make things more difficult because they're a tripping hazard. And if you trip while you're trying to escape, there's also a really weird phenomenon where wanderers have reported seeing people deep inside the tunnels, but they aren't actually people. They look and walk like us, but they give off really bad vibes and they seem dangerous and they're obviously just not all there in the head. The main thought is that these people might be a crawler in the first infection stages or a skin stealer that hasn't fully grown out yet. The labyrinth of tunnels often connect with other tunnels and they also randomly turn and segment and dead end, which makes it a crapshoot if you're trying to explore them. You'll just have no idea where it's taking you. The best case scenario if you're in a tunnel or if you get stuck in a tunnel is if you somehow run into another station or a staircase that leads out of the tunnel. Because if you don't do that, you'll be stuck in a maze of infested tunnels forever, which obviously would not be fun, especially since there's weird creatures there. But to enter level 59, you can go into the subways of level 11 until you find an empty station that look like the ones here, or you can no clip from level 77 to get here as well. And to exit, you have to find a specific tunnel that leads to the train station on level 158. Now, most people find this tunnel by complete accident and it's just luck, but some claim to follow something called the map that they found on the wall in a station. And they say that the map leads them here. According to Wanderers, this map manifests itself as a large subway map on the wall of a station and they can look at it and they can see where the exit is. Apparently it's really rare and doesn't just appear to people. And sometimes it's also wrong and it doesn't actually map out the level. So yeah, not much is known about it, as you can see. My advice is to just try to find the tunnel that says level 158 on it, and that'll lead you out of the level. And hopefully you get out before something eats you from the darkness, obviously. But yeah, that was level 59. Hope you enjoyed. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching. I love and appreciate all of you for your support, everything you do. If you want to support the channel even more, you can subscribe or like the video. Those are both free. We also share videos with your friends and family if you want to share the love of the back rooms or if you want to help out even more you can sub to the patreon which is in the description if you want to help me even more sometimes youtube gets goofy and demonetizes my videos so i appreciate all my patrons a lot i got a ton more content coming for you on here on Toogly, and on spoogly get ready for it all thank you so much for all you do and i will see you all in the next video on any of my channels peace